Well, chances are you probably have either had cancer or know someone who has. It's a disease that affects almost everybody, but is it affecting more people in Baldwin County than anywhere else in our area? Well, some believe there is a cancer cluster there. We investigated to see if that's really the case. As Local 15's Andrea Ramey reports, the local university has studied that, and tonight we have the results. The state health department admitted there was an elevated number of childhood cancer cases in Baldwin County several years ago. Now we're sharing the results of a University of South Alabama study and explaining why some fear there could be a cancer cluster. Jensen Bird, Caroline Richmond, and Clayton Ladd. All three children grew up in Baldwin County. All three diagnosed with cancer. Clayton's mom, Rachel, remembers getting the horrible news. The first month, there's a lot of crying. Jensen passed away August 24, 2010. He was five years old. Caroline lost her battle this year on January 4th at age 14. Clayton, who turned five last week, is still fighting. The prognosis is not good at stage four high risk and the chance of relapse is high. Leslie Pacey lives in Point Clear. Her daughter Sarah was diagnosed in 2004 with leukemia at age four. Today, she's considered cured. It was devastating um, when it happened. It was, you know, it's very unbelievable to hear that diagnosis. At the time, out of eight children in Sarah's play group made up of Eastern Shore kids, three were diagnosed with cancer. It just didn't seem right to be in such a small community and have a what seemingly large number of leukemia cases in a short period of time. This little girl is fine. It's a little girl with brain cancer there. Pacey began writing down names of people diagnosed with cancer. Soon that turned into a spreadsheet of information. So many names, so many cases of cancer. But is it a cluster? Frustrated with the state health department's response, Pacey began reaching out to universities to get answers. Obviously, when you have a um, suspected disease cluster, you look at the air quality and you look at the area's water quality. And, um, you know, we live on a bay, so you look at Mobile Bay. Researchers from the University of Arizona in 2008 collected tree ring samples from 17 pine trees in Fairhope and found enough chemical evidence to warrant further research. A researcher from Oxford University is currently looking at the impacts of radar from vessels and aircraft. And the University of South Alabama has studied the number of cases to determine if there is a cluster. People need to know. Uh, I mean, obviously that type of thing happens and it's terrifying. A master's student of Dr. Jim Connors spent years poring over the data. She looked at the reported cases to the state from 2001 to 2010 and focused specifically on the number of children with a form of leukemia called ALL. Connors shared those results with us. There does not seem to be evidence, uh, or at least strong evidence, of any type of cluster in Baldwin County. Clayton's mom doesn't put much stock in the study. You can't look at one cancer and dismiss the idea that, you know, there's a cancer cluster. She's not sure that there is a cluster, but she's concerned things in our environment are causing more incidents of rare cancer cases in children. I think it's very possible. Connor says this is an emotional topic to research and admits more of it could be done. There may be other data that's out there and if we did a more exhaustive or extensive uh, study or we included other types of cancers, we might get a different result. Cancer cluster or mere coincidence. For the families impacted, the only thing that really matters is curing it. Both Rachel Ladd and Leslie Pacey have started nonprofit groups. The George Clayton Childhood Cancer Foundation raises money for cancer research. Ladd has a thrift store across from the Fairhope Walmart, and proceeds go toward that foundation. Pacey started Eastern Shore Community Health Partners, and she wants you to share cases of rare cancers and neurological disease with her to also help with research. You can find links to both groups on our website in the Find It section. Back to you.